an issue I've been dealing with in Ableton for a long time. What I used to do was record vocals in Ableton before I started working in Pro Tools. And one of the things that always annoyed me is when I would record something, it would never be on time. I'm gonna rap right now. Yeah. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Decaps on the microphone, what it do? Okay, that's it. I'm gonna play this back. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Decaps on the microphone, what it do? Perfect. I'm gonna play this one back. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Decaps on the mic. You see how it's a little bit off time? What Ableton does when you record and auto is on, and you need auto on to preview any effects you have on the vocals. When you have auto on, by default, there's gonna be latency. When I had input monitoring to off, there's no latency. What I do is I direct monitor through my Apollo. So when you're working with an artist, it's better to direct monitor on your interface and turn this off. When you have it off, you get sample accurate recording. When it's on auto and you're previewing the effects through Ableton, no matter what, you're gonna get some latency. So your vocals are gonna be off time. Here's the workaround. If you need to direct monitor yourself, what you wanna do is create a second audio track when you're recording and have this one turned off and you wanna record both of them at the same time. If I'm direct monitoring, I'm gonna have this one not muted and I'm gonna have this one muted. Let's do it again. Mike, check a check a one, two. Check a check a kung fu. Yeah, chop it, chop it up. Okay, let's say we recorded the one with the auto on. You see it's off? All you have to do is just take that take and drag it on top of it. Perfect timing after that. So that's the workaround in Ableton when you're recording. I've been dealing with this for years, not knowing why I have all this latency. And I had to like manually get the takes right, or I work with an artist, they're like, yo, it sounds just a little bit off. I wasn't aware before I got Apollo, you had to have input monitoring off in order to have the vocal on time how you recorded it. I saw a YouTube video about this. It just kind of clicked for me. This is the way to do it. I just have one thing. I wish that Ableton would give us some kind of alert when we're working that that is its behavior. Or if it somehow compensated for it so we didn't have to use that technique. I definitely want them to know that because that would make workflow so much better so we didn't have to make two tracks. But that's a temporary workaround for this.